It costs the taxpayer $240,000 a year to keep a young person in jail. A new program says that money would be far better spent on crime prevention rather than punishment. A group of prominent Australians is supporting the initiative, which aims to cut the number of young Aborigines in juvenile detention. Michael Edwards reports. For many young offenders, juvenile detention is the first stop on a long career behind bars. 15-year-old Trey Stewart has seen it all many times. If you lock them up, it might just create them to be more violent in a way, I'm guessing, and it make them more angrier when they're released, I guess. And helping young Aborigines to make the right choice is just what a group of prominent Australians is after. The Justice Reinvestment Campaign wants the New South Wales Government to radically alter its approach to juvenile justice. When you start to analyse the reasons why they're going in, a lot of those uh, reasons uh, can be addressed if we invest uh, in, in development of those people and, and create meaningful jobs for them. On average, it costs $240,000 a year for each juvenile in jail. That works out to more than $650 a day, which will get you a luxury room with harbour views at a five-star hotel like this here in the centre of Sydney. That money could be diverted to programs designed to keep kids out of trouble, such as redeveloping abandoned housing, more services for substance abuse and mental health, job training and education. Victims groups also advocate prevention over punishment. International research has proven or shown that every dollar you spend on keeping a kid out of the system, within four years you will have saved $14. If that's not an investment in a better society, I don't know what is. The campaign's seeking a commitment from the state government to set up an advisory committee. The Attorney General Greg Smith has given his tentative support to the project. Michael Edwards, ABC News.